Integration by substitution, u is equal to cos x plus 1. So the first thing we're going to do is differentiate the substitution to get, uh, well, cos x differentiates to minus sine x, and 1 is a constant, so that differentiates to 0. We're then going to multiply through by dx, like so. And I can see in the integral we've got sine x dx. Um, so if I just times through by minus 1 here, then this gives us sine x dx, so that can get swapped straight out for minus du. Um, and we also know, uh, of course, that cos x plus 1 is equal to u, so that can get swapped out. So all that's left to swap out are the limits of pi over 2 and 0. So we're going to say x is equal to pi over 2, so that means that u, as we know, is equal to cos x plus 1. So cos of pi over 2 plus 1. Um, and then the cos of pi over 2 is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. And then let's do the lower limit. So x is equal to 0. u is equal to cos of 0 plus 1. And cos of 0 is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. OK, great. So we're good to go. So we're going to call that the i. And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to say i is equal to now the integral between 1 and 2, those are the limits, e to the u multiplied by and the side x dx is minus du. Now, top little tip, <clears throat> if you want to get rid of this minus here, what you can do is you can just swap the limits over. And that's the same as multiplying through by negative. So you could write it like this. And then when we integrate e to the u, that will give you just e to the u, and that is between 2 and 1. So all that's left to do now is just to substitute in these limits. Uh, so the upper limit is 2, so that gives us e to the 2, and the lower limit is 1, so that gives us e to the 1. And then this is the same as e squared minus e, which is e, open brackets, e minus 1. Job done. Subscribe for more. Bye for now.